What if your browser could do your work for you instead of just showing you websites? ChatGPT Atlas is OpenAI's new browser, and people are already saying it might actually replace Chrome for a lot of users. It does more than load pages. It helps you read, write, research, plan, and even take actions while you work. If you use the internet for anything important, this is something you want to understand right now. Here's everything you need to know about ChatGPT Atlas. Let's start from the top. ChatGPT Atlas is a new browser created by OpenAI. It's not just Chrome with ChatGPT added as an extension. The entire browser is built around ChatGPT being part of your workflow as you browse. When we use browsers today, we usually do everything ourselves. We search, we skim, we compare, we look for answers, we copy text into ChatGPT or another tool. We rewrite it, then we go back to the browser and continue. Atlas removes a lot of the friction in that process. It brings the intelligence right into the browsing experience. Think of it like this. You're on a web page. You highlight something. And right there, inside the browser window, you can get an explanation that fits your level. Or a summary that saves you 10 minutes of reading. Or a rewrite that makes you sound clear, confident, and friendly. You don't switch tabs. You don't break your flow. You don't lose your focus. That's the difference. Now, let's walk through how to get started. Head over to chatgpt.com slash atlas. Right now, the browser is available for macOS. OpenAI has said support for Windows, iOS, and Android is on the way soon. Once you download the installer and open it, you sign in with your ChatGPT account. This works whether you're on the free plan or on paid plans like Plus or Pro. After logging in, Atlas will ask if you want to import your bookmarks, your browsing history, and your saved passwords from your current browser. You can do that to move over smoothly. Nothing feels lost or unfamiliar. During setup, one feature stands out, browser memories. When this is turned on, Atlas can learn from what you do and what matters to you. Then it can give you smarter suggestions later. If you read a lot of articles on a certain topic, Atlas can bring that into future support. If you always write in a certain tone, Atlas can match it. The key thing to know is that browser memory is optional. You can turn it on or off. You can decide which sites are never remembered. You can delete memory whenever you choose. Control is in your hands. Once Atlas is running, it feels familiar. You have a row of tabs, you have your address bar, you have your bookmarks. The structure looks a lot like what you already know. The new part is the ChatGPT side panel. With one click, the side panel opens, and ChatGPT is right there, ready to help with whatever page you're on. This is where the daily usefulness becomes clear. Let's say you're reading a long article. You highlight a paragraph. A small menu appears, offering to explain the text, summarize it, rewrite it, or translate it. You pick what you need. The result appears right there alongside the web page. There's no extra step. There's no jumping between apps. It feels smooth and supportive. If you're writing something online, Atlas helps with that too. It can rewrite text you highlight. You can say you want it to sound more friendly, more direct, more professional, shorter, or more natural. You don't have to think of the perfect wording on your own. Atlas can also help with forms. When you come across repetitive fields like names, email addresses, and similar details, Atlas can fill them for you. You still confirm each time. You stay in control. It just reduces repetition and speeds up everyday tasks. Some people compare Atlas to the browser from Perplexity. The difference is the feeling of support. The Perplexity browser focuses heavily on search and fast answers. Atlas focuses on being with you while you work, learn, read, and write. It adjusts to you. It supports your style. It feels more personal. Now we get to something that really changes how a browser works. Agent mode. 
This is where Atlas becomes more than a responsive assistant. It becomes a browser that can take action on its own when you ask it to. When agent mode is active, it can browse websites, open tabs, gather information, compare results, and build answers across pages while you focus on something else. Here's a clear example. You say, plan a weekend trip in the United States sometime in the next month with at least three fun activities and a comfortable place to stay. Agent mode begins working immediately. It opens different travel sites. It checks flight prices. It looks at hotel options. It reads travel recommendations. It gathers everything and organizes it into a clear set of choices. You could be watching a video in another tab the entire time while the browser does the work. Agent mode has two main ways it can operate. Logged in mode allows it to use your accounts when you permit it. This means it can check your saved travel preferences or loyalty points if you give access. Logged out mode means it browses the web as an unregistered visitor. You choose which mode you want depending on the task. This keeps privacy in your hands. Now, let's talk about personalization. Atlas still works like a normal browser in the ways you're used to. You can install extensions, you can save bookmarks, you can manage passwords, you can choose between light mode, dark mode, or other themes. The browser is built on Chromium, so it feels fast and supports many familiar tools. The difference comes from the AI settings. You can give the browser instructions for how you want it to respond. You can say you prefer short summaries. You can say you prefer a casual tone. You can say you want more detailed explanations. You can set when agent mode needs your approval. You can turn memory on or off. You can control exactly how much the browser participates in your work. This means the browser adapts to your personality and your workflow instead of expecting you to adapt to it. But Atlas makes it so that you stay in one flow. You read something, you get help instantly. You write something, you refine it with one click, you plan something. Agent mode collects the information while you relax. Some people will move early and take advantage of this. They'll get used to tools like Atlas. They'll save time, they'll work faster with less effort. They'll build better results with less stress. Other people will wait and only switch when it feels like everyone else already uses it. It's always like that when technology moves forward. If you want to be in the group that moves early, subscribe to the channel to stay ahead with AI. What will you use ChatGPT Atlas for? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and check out some exciting AI tools I've linked in the description while you're there.